it's not an enormous market, um, but then there's not many of us serving it, so uh, um, there's certainly plenty of work to keep me busy. I met a guy by the name of Trevor Owen, um, a clog maker, he had all his clogs out on the stall, uh, and I was just fascinated by by the soles really, by the kind of wooden soles with all the curves and things, and thought, wonder how you make those. I then went away and taught myself leather working for a number of years, and finally he caught up with me and said, why aren't you making clogs? And the first step to, to turning that into a clog is um, to cut what's known as the cast, which is, if you like, the shape of the sole sideways on. So draw the, um, the shape of the sole on the, on the timber on the top of the cast, and then it's just a case of, uh, of running around that with the bandsaw, uh, and that roughly gets us to a shape that's something like that, so you can see the shape of the clog is starting to take uh, take form at that stage. So the next stage is to use the clog knives and these are really old tools I think these are probably from about 1900. Every bit as satisfying as it looks and that just enables the clog uh, just starts to slim it down a little bit and make it look a bit more attractive. Obviously the bit we're missing is the leather upper so that's the next stage. The leather up is typically, um, if I'm making just a normal sort of standard lace-up style, is made of a, a series of parts, which like this, um, which are stitched together. There's a little bit, bit, of, little bit of extra work required on there, but then when they're stitched together, they look something like that. That is a last, um, obviously a wooden former that is shaped to be as close as possible to a human foot. Um, that, is, that sits on the wooden sole, you then wet the leather and stretch it over. So at this stage, once that's been completed and the leather's all stretched down over the, over the last, you've got a little bit of a skirt of excess leather. Leave that to dry for a couple of days and then trim off the skirt of excess leather. The final stage then is to, is to nail that up with the fancy nails, so brass nails around the toe and steel nails around the heel. That's the traditional way of doing it. Um, so the final stage then, just nailing up with those pretty nails and the job is done. Most of the clogs I make are to order, so people will go for anything from a more traditional style clog, just a fairly straightforward one with a black upper and a, and a black dyed um, edge to the sole. Bare wood on the bottom, so they'd be for step dancing. Um, more, in more recent years, though, people have, have started to be a little bit more adventurous with the colours that they want for clogs. So, I do quite a good line in purple ones. Uh, this nice dark green so, um, colour, which is uh, which is quite popular as well. And something that I'm pioneering at the moment is, um, well, something very untraditional indeed. Uh, and uh, I've had a couple of orders for these. Again, from Wales, I think they're a little bit saucy for the English market at this stage. I think I'm one of the few people I know who gets out of bed on the morning and can't wait to get cracking.